What is going on YouTube? Dad with a bike and I'm coming at you on a beautiful day. It's the uh, uh it's like the week before Thanksgiving and uh this will probably see its debut on uh the uh, Sunday after Thanksgiving because I've got turkey day plans and I'm sure y'all do too so anyway we're gonna have a, a quick conversation and uh, also get into a walk around of the bike I have one of the, the uh, blah, 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 blah. I've had one or a few of the subscribers ask me uh, to do kind of a walk around the bike now that I've got kind of all my mods done let me get around this goon. And uh, so much fun on this bike. And I figure that's what we'll do. So we'll uh, rip through traffic, go find us a spot to pull over that's uh, kind of nice, and then we'll uh, do a walk around on the bike. Should be good. So uh, stick around. Alrighty guys, so a little bit of conversation that I'm going to get into before I go and do the walk around on the bikey poo is a couple things. Number one, I would like to wish you all, or I hope you all, had a wonderful Thanksgiving and I hope you all were safe. I know I'm going to enjoy mine, or I will have enjoyed mine nothing uh, better than uh, kind of getting around family or having that little special time in the holidays that are good for you and the family. I know the world's kind of crazy right now and if you listen to uh, all the things going on everybody should not go visit family but I don't know. You know it's one of those things where you know you do you um, but it's stuff like this that makes me want to get closer to my family. And uh, so anyway, so I really do hope uh, you all have enjoyed yours, and I uh, really wish all my viewers and anyone watching this uh, the very best this holiday season. So now uh, I'm gonna get into like the the walk around on my bike here shortly, but I wanted to preface it because. You know, I know there's going to be a lot of people that talk about, uh, well, if you did all that stuff, you know, you shouldn't have bought a bobber, you should have bought this, you should have bought that. Well, I don't care. I bought a bobber, and I did all these things to it, and I'm glad I did because it's, well, my bike. If you don't like it, you should buy me a new one. <laughs> so anyway, let's jump to that oh-so-sweet walk-around and we'll cover all of my mods so check this out all right y'all I'm gonna take you guys down to uh, the Colorado River uh, that structure back there is uh, Mansfield Dam Lake Travis in Austin dumps kind of out into uh, lower Colorado River and then so we'll go down to the lower Colorado River and uh, that's where we'll do the uh, walk around on the bike. Really pretty down here. It's kind of crazy if you think about just how much water is actually being held back by that dam there. No fishing, no jumping, no blah 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 blah. Colorado River. Pretty damn awesome, isn't it? We'll do a little loopy loop here. Imagine if you lived up in there, I'd love that. That'd be kind of nice. Kind of nice, isn't it? Anyway, we're going to 
come over here and uh, park and I'll do a uh, walk around on the bike. as good as any. Hurt. All right. Uh, okay, so we're going to do let's do uh front to back tires, everything. We're going to do as many things as possible. We'll, t we'll talk about it all. All right. So uh first and foremost, you notice I no longer have like the old school Kendas that come with the tire or come with the uh, bike when you buy it, I replaced them with uh, Metzler Cruise Techs. I'm a uh, kind of an aggressive rider. Those Cruise Techs are muy bueno, so they're awesome when I'm out ripping around. Um, they do a really good job at uh, kind of grabbing the corners. They don't slip, and they're some fantastic tires. So if you're interested in some tires, look at the Metzler Cruise Techs. Um, so if you kind of come up, so I've got the uh, Memphis Shades Cafe fairing. So before I had the Gauntlet, but I had somebody who was interested in the Gauntlet. I was interested in the key the, in the uh, Cafe, so we swap. So now I have the Cafe. So major difference between like the Cafe and the Gauntlet. So the Cafe is a much slimmer, a little bit shorter of a. Uh, front fairing the gauntlet kind of scoops out to the side and then is a bit taller so if you're looking for more I guess you know wind protection then the gauntlet is good so it goes cafe gauntlet and like uh, road warrior the road warrior is just too much for me uh, so anyway we uh, kind of cruise on back I have um, Arlen Ness 10 gauge covers for both my uh, front brake reservoir as well as my rear brake reservoir so right there uh, I have joker machine um, levers for uh, both the brake and the clutch if you notice I do not have the uh, bar end mirrors anymore got rid of those and then I have Vans Colt grips and then I also threw on uh, Arlen Ness mini ovals. Um, I like these. Interestingly enough with the mini ovals, so if you look, they're pretty small, but I actually have much better visibility behind me than I did when I had my bar ends. So, you know, your choice with the bar ends is flipped down or flipped up. I think personally flipped up. They look ridiculous. Flip down, can't see crap. And if your bars aren't high enough, you're on the risk of them banging against your tank. So, swapped them out for that um, we will talk about this in a minute but this is um, it's the you know the display for the PV3 tuner and we'll talk about that in a minute but anyway um, going down the bike uh, Dean speed um, crash bars and then, by the way, if you're interested, uh, Dean Speed does give my viewers a uh, discount. Use the code coupon code Dad with a bike, and uh, you'll get 10% off. Anyway, going on down, I do have a little. Let's see if I can get you Gremlin Bell. Ding ding. That's a cool one that was given to me by a friend. That's actually a 50 caliber shell with a or 50 caliber casing with a 223 on the inside as a ringer kind of cool. Two Brother Exhaust, uh, Comp S, which, bueno, that thing is an amazing exhaust. Cruising on back, Progressive 444s. Uh, I swapped these out with the stock because even with my weight, so I'm 100 and, I, I range 195, 205. Uh, I could never get my sag set properly on the uh, stock um, shocks. Yes, I know what I'm doing. I have a history of racing. I have raced bikes before. Um, did some amateur racing back in the day. And I know how to set my sag. And I could not do it with stock uh, shocks. Flip to the 444s. 
no problem. Now I've got my sag set properly. And I can adjust it well for when I'm carrying gear or whatever else. So if I'm going out camping, give it a couple twists and uh, I'm rock solid. So going down the rest of the bike. This here is my Dean Speed Sissy Bar. Again, I love me some Dean Speed. And this, of course, is the Indian Rack. Um, right in front of that is going to be my um, Saddleman LS. Uh, Renegade LS Solo. And I love that seat. It's a good, comfy option without getting into the 400 and some odd dollar versions of like, you know, the Corbins, Mustangs, whatever. I love that seat. It's perfect for me. Um, two, 250 bucks gets you um, that Saddleman. Um, going around the back, this is a um, not anyone I had bought I had that made by someone because I wanted my uh, license plate swung in the rear I didn't want anything hanging off the sides um, if you're interested this is a Kyriakin, uh sissy bar bag I love it uh, it's got some stuff in there because I went shopping um, cruising down the other side of the bike down below I have Dean Speed pulley cover um, you know, lots of little stuff by Dean Speed, so I like that pull cover. It's pretty awesome. Uh, and then we'll talk about kind of what's um, at the heart of the bike. So underneath the tank, I have my Trask intake, which I've done a few videos on the Trask intake. I've done one with how to clean it, all that good stuff. I love this intake. It sounds amazing. When you open it up, it sounds like, I don't know, it makes it come alive. It's crazy. So it's an awesome. I think if you're going to get an intake... My choice would be either Trask or SNS. Like I'm not a fan of the Indian aftermarket or the Indian performance intake because I still think that it restricts airflow quite a bit. The Trask and the uh, SNS, there's zero restriction, so that is awesome. Under here, I have a PV3 tuner, which runs down the bike, and this is the display. So anytime you see me out riding, you're gonna see the PV3 display. Um, uh, anytime you see me out riding because I keep it up there um, every once in a while I'll hit the record button record some data because I'm trying to get into tuning myself I'm just not there yet I'm trying to figure it out I'm a noob at it so always learning something um, and uh, let's see what else do I have do I want to cover La -ta 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 -ta. Ta -ta -ta -ta. oh um, this here is a burly bag um, it just has some general stuff in there, so uh, nice little bag. Velcro's onto the handlebars, pretty nice. And then the handlebars themselves, these are from Twisted Choppers. They're eight inch um, bars, rise up quite nice. So uh, you can't go wrong with that. Um, sits me, I guess if I were to kind of give you an example, it sits me kind of like right here, so it's a perfect natural, comfortable position. And if anybody's interested in those bars, um, you know, I'm 5'10", um, and they fit me quite well. Um, I have them pulled back, at, so if you were to go center and come back an inch, so if you go exactly center from the forks and come back an inch is where I've got them set, uh, and that works really, really well for me. Um, what else? Headlight is from Eagle Lights. That's actually the halo light. I'll uh, turn it on real quick and I'll let you see the halo light. Bam. Halo light. So it's a uh, nice bright light. Really like it. Um, let's see what else. Um, do, 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 do. Got my good old go fast, don't die sticker. I'm a U.S. Army veteran. So bam. Got my uh, U.S. Army sticker slap right there because I've yet to figure out why on earth Indian has chosen to leave that blank. And if you go put anything in there, it's always expensive. So I said, oh, I'm going to put a sticker there. Skadoosh, sticker fit. And then my war bonnet is from uh, the Facebook group. There's a guy on there that did them. Rock solid. Um, I think... I think that really that's that's it. Um, 
I've got a, a couple, uh, I've got one more modification that's coming. Um, I've got some number plates that another guy from the Facebook group for Indian Scott Bobber provided me. And they'll go right here. They'll kind of cover this little area here. And really all it is, it's uh, Burt Monroe's old number, so number 35. little head nod to Burt Monroe when those get in. Um, that'll be cool. I'll slap those on. But yeah. There she is. Rock solid bike. I love it and everything about it I've done so far to it. I made it my bike. Um, Y'all do with yours what you will, but that is mine. And I love it. So, anyway. Let's get out of here and head home because I've got stuff to deliver for uh, my boy. And, uh, Let's get out of here. So anyway, that is the uh, walk around. That's all my modifications. That's probably all the modifications I'm going to make. I'm pretty much done. I've turned this thing into uh, what I like. Uh, I challenge y'all to do the same to yours. Make your bike yours. So anyway, if uh, you like this video, uh, you found it helpful, and I will try to put descriptions or links in the description to all this stuff. Uh, and uh, if y'all found it helpful and whatnot, do me a favor, hit that subscribe, like, notify thing. And uh, join the little family. And uh, as with all my videos and how I end them, y'all be safe, be good to one another, and uh, peace.